Hey Mark, we are only three weeks away from the beginning of the school year, and we still need to hire one more science teacher. When are you going to take the time and post the job description in the district website? Oh, Lisa, what would I do without you? I will get on that ASAP. That means as soon as possible. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, I totally forgot to post the position for the science teacher. Should I just call my cousin Robert to come in and sell for a couple of months? Hmm. Lisa, I just remembered that I haven't posted the position for the science teacher. Can you please schedule me a meeting with the human resources team to go over the current hiring procedures and practices? I want to make sure that we are hiring the best possible candidate for this position and for our students. Sure thing, Principal Mark. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Hi, Bob. Nice seeing you again. Listen here. I want to meet with you to get an update on the right approach towards hiring a new science teacher. To be very honest with you, Bob, I am also looking forward for this individual to coach our boys' football team. As you know, we've been struggling the past season, but this season is going to be the one. We're going to make sure that we have a winning football team. Red flag, red flag. <laughs> Do not worry, Mark. I'll help you understand the importance of a fair and unbiased hiring procedure. I'll also make sure that you have all the tools necessary to make the appropriate decision for your next science teacher. Hey, Mark, to begin with, let me give you some precedents that dictate the way in which we do hiring here at the district. First of all, the Equal Pay Act of 1963 is an amendment from the Fair Labor Standard Act of 1983. It prohibits wage discrimination on the basis of gender amongst employees who perform equal work in jobs that require equal skill, effort, and responsibility. Next up, Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibits discrimination in employment by employers on the basis of race, color, religion, gender, or national origin. Furthermore, it was amended in 1972 to include state and local government agencies, including school districts such as ours. Title IX of 1972, it states that no person in the United States should be denied the benefit or be subject to discrimination under any educational program. And even though at first this ruling caused confusion, in 1982, in the case North Haven Board of Education v. Bell, the court held that the regulations under Title IX encompass students and employees. As you can see, Mark, failure to comply with these rulings can cause the termination of federal funding towards our district and the specific programs within. It is important that you, as a hiring manager and the leader of the school, are aware of these rules and comply with them to the best of your ability. Also, if you have any specific questions in regards to any specific candidate, please don't doubt in getting a hold of us. We are here to help you. Mark, the best tip that I can give you is do not allow gender to be a consideration or a deciding factor when hiring for any position within the district. Lisa, Lisa, I now feel completely ready to commence the interview process for our qualified candidates. Please schedule the interviews in the next few days. I will make sure to have the hiring committee ready to go. Great job, Principal Mark. I am confident you will make the most appropriate decision for the benefit of our students. Hello, everyone. My name is Melissa Houston. I am 27 years old, and I have been a chemistry teacher for the past six years. In my time as a teacher in my previous institution, I have earned numerous recognitions from my principal due to my implementation of rigorous science curriculum and positive test results. Hi hey everyone, my name is Coach Frank Gomez. I have taught math, science, computer applications, and do physical education from time to time, mostly depending on the weather. Most importantly, I have been a winning football coach for all the schools that I have worked at. Well guys, first of all, thank you very much for being part of our hiring committee. We have interviewed our two finalists, and I would like to hear from you who you think we should offer the position to. Well, Mark. For me, it's an easy decision. We obviously have to go with Frank. He is a male, and we need a head football coach for our boys' football team. Javier, I really appreciate your comment, and thank you very much for sharing with us how you're feeling. But please, let me share with you something I learned this past week. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibits discrimination in employment by employers on the basis of race, color, religion, gender, or national origin. Thank you for sharing that information with us, Mark. I really believe that despite us needing a football coach, we really need a prepared science teacher. I believe that Melissa will bring an amazing amount of experience to the Great. Melissa it is. I will make sure to call them both to... Created using Powtoon.